Okay, welcome back. This time we are doing Iron Sword, the second game in the Wizards and Warriors trilogy on the NES. My personal favorite of the trilogy, not a big fan of the first one. We're doing this on the NES HDMI Kevtris in 720. And I like this game. It is just a notch above average. This is, or it was, a great game to own growing up. I did. And of course, the only thing everyone seems to remember about this game is that it had Fabio on the cover. And this game is not without its flaws. Personally, I... I like... There's a lot I like about this game. It's fun. But it's really hard. I can get to the... Earth stage... Before... Getting game over. And there's all kinds of hidden secrets in this game. I don't remember where all of them are. But this is a great game for a pop-in and play. Now, my complaints with this game is that... The enemies just fly all over the screen. It's so irritating. And it feels like you have almost no way to defend yourself. Music and graphics are good. Uh, I wish the enemies fought you just a little bit more straightforward. My other big complaint, and I'll go ahead and show it off now, but this is your attack. This does nothing. Like, think of the sword mechanics in Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, where you actually, like, stab outward. This does not help you. You can do this, which kind of helps a little bit, but I would much rather fight like in Zelda 2. This doesn't work. And, um, I don't know, I feel like that really hurts the game, especially since the enemies are always flying at you from an angle. I feel pretty much defenseless. The only way to really attack enemies is to just kind of jump into them and hope that you hurt them. And that's no fun. That death animation is hilarious, by the way. So, <clears throat> excuse me, each level there's the sky level, or wind level, whatever you want to call it. The wind level, the water level, the fire level, and the earth level, and then the final level where you fight them all again. I can get to the earth level. I don't think I've ever beaten it. You know, maybe with Game Genie when I was a kid I cheated to beat it, but... I've never actually beaten this game authentically. And this is kind of fun, being able to bounce around. Just 
just have to be careful not to bounce into the enemies. Like that. Okay, and then in... So in the first part of the stage, you have to find the treasure. The second part of the stage, you have to find the magic spell to defeat the uh, level guardian or blight or whatever they're called. And now I actually have a projectile, so I'm not completely defenseless right now. That's actually an exit. Alright, and each level has an area like this where you can rack up magic power. Alright, and before I lose any more lives, let's go ahead and I think I can find a piece of armor here. I don't need that. Uh oh! But yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of jumping and crashing into enemies and hoping that works. Although I do have a projectile now, so I could technically be fighting enemies that way. Okay, the helmet. the uh, wind elemental. Oh, and it takes all my keys. I forgot about that. Okay, now we're in the water level. And this one, not too bad. I really wish they had given me my, um, refilled my health. I'm so used to being able to bounce. Now I can't bounce. But this level is quite a bit easier than the, uh... the first part of the, um, wind level. Okay, good. Here's where we get keys. Because we are going to need... Now the game expects a little bit more of you, so you have to find a certain spell, both in this level and the next level. Okay, got a shield. I think I take less damage as I find these items. I know that I think I can buy a... That's the spell that I need, so... 
going to hold off on that for just a little bit, but I think I can buy... I think there's a shop where I can buy a better weapon. And this is a really good sword, but now you have to be extremely careful not to... Um, accidentally pick up a another item. If you accidentally pick up a, like a... I know there's an axe in uh, a treasure chest that I usually accidentally pick up. I'm gonna try not to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the spell, and now you have a few seconds Oh, and I didn't do it right. I think, I hope this doesn't mean I have to waste another key. It does. That's unfortunate. But the good news is I have enough money where I can just buy another one. Yeah, all in all, this is a really fun game. Okay, this should be enough. Ah, uh, and I don't have the spell anymore. I should probably refill some of my health. starting to waste all my money on keys. Alright, let's try not to accidentally go into any doors. Yeah, you go into a door, it wastes your spell make a note of where this is that I keep accidentally ducking into. Right, stay away from this. It's driving me crazy. Okay, very much almost a vertical scroller instead of a uh, traditional side scroller. I find myself going up a whole lot. Alright, I'm going to stop making that mistake.
There we go. I apologize, that took way too long. Okay, let's give this to the... Frog King. what's in that chest. And I like the music for this level. And, uh, Pretty cool that I've got, um, jumps again. Like, moon jumps, or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Perfect. Now my magic is, uh, filled and I don't have to worry about racking up magic power. Water spell. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of treasures. And I know... I'm pretty sure I am. But... You don't really need them, per se. I'm not even sure what kind of bonuses they grant you, if any. Maybe point bonuses, or money bonuses, or extra lives. And I think this... I can't remember what that spell does. on the fire level, which is a little bit tougher. Alright, it's... I think that is a weapon that I sometimes pick up and replace my... Because right now, the sword I have is really good. I don't want to Place it. Let's buy a little food. And I'm probably going to need keys. I think that. One of those is a treasure chest. Ooh, extra life. Great. There's the key. Okay. Fleetfoot spell. 
Sweetwood Max spell. And I believe I have to use it... Pelted with fire. I think this might be it. Yes, it is. Let's see, and maybe I should buy one more key just to make, um, getting the uh, spell a little bit easier for myself, so by one key. So when I owned this game growing up, on the um, back of the box, had a picture of, um, man, really struggling. It had a picture of the dragon that I'm about to meet. This guy right here. Where is it? Right here? Yeah, this guy. And I remember thinking, oh man, I get to fight him? But, no, he, he's the one you have to give the treasure to. So, real disappointing, because it looked like, you know, like, look at the back of the box and think, oh, right, awesome uh, boss fight. Okay, now I get to go down into the... And this part is relentless. Oh, I wasted the key. I should have known. Alright, so I think that is what I needed to use the key on, so. Right now I need to find a key and magic treasure. Or excuse me, the those eggs that give you magic power. Alright, there's a key. Here's another key. Alright, and those guys give you their projectiles give you um Gauntlet, but the their projectiles give you um, magic power, which is extremely useful because you can kind of uh, farm for it right there. Okay, is this a spell? Oh no, I wasted my diamond sword for a crappy axe. Wish I hadn't done that. It doesn't give you the option to decline either, you have to take it. And I will give this game credit for every time I get like a new weapon or a new item, piece of armor. It is, um, it changes the way the character looks, which is a really nice touch. Alright, well that extra life isn't gonna do me a whole lot of good, because I had to 
nearly kill myself to get it. Okay, he's still looking for that. Gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, I think it's in here. The fire spell. Yeah, there it is. Alright, now I'm going to... Rack up some magic. Still really bummed that I uh, lost my um, diamond sword. Okay, that should be enough. And the, uh, fire demon or devil or whatever you want to call him, really annoying because the spell that I got, fire smite or whatever it's called, it fires in a, like, you'll see, it loops up and you kind of have to hit him. Alright, there we go. But it takes a couple, uh... If you don't rack up magic power, you're not going to be able to beat this guy. pretty good game so far, actually. Still, with the exception of, um, losing my, um, diamond sword. This area I really don't like because now the game wants you to do some really tricky jumps. Like it's real easy to just waste a whole bunch of lives with these very tricky jumps. Okay, because right here is where I get the, uh... Golden Tankard, which I need. But now, I have to find the... I think it's a mouse? This tricky jump right here.
Oh, is that it? No continues? Well, <laughs> that's usually where about where I die anyway, so I thought I had continues. Um, whatever. That's Iron Sword. Uh, good game. Wish I was better at it. Um, I don't know. Maybe with a little more practice, I'll get good enough to beat it, but like I said, it's a notch above average. This is... Um, I've got a special place in my heart for average games on the NES. You know, they all can't be classics like the Mega Man games or the Super Mario Brothers games. Mediocre games are fun and important and need love too. And I can't think of a game that's kind of more mandatory for a collection than Iron Sword because, you know, it's something you pop in and even though it's not a perfect game, you adjust to it and you enjoy it. And it's a pretty cheap game, too. I think you can get a copy for only, like, probably fewer than $10 still. So, personally, I highly recommend it. And, um, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. So, we'll see you next time.